Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP using JWT. This is our part number 23. Inside this video session guys, we are going to make a method which basically lists all projects. In the last video session, we had developed the API which is used to create our projects. So if we back to our table, now inside this TBL underscore projects, we are storing all the projects created by our respective user. Inside our API call, we will pass our user ID, name, description and the status. So by the, by the help of that API, we will insert our data inside this table. Now inside this video, we are going to make an API that basically lists all the projects what we have inside this table. So back to code editor. Now this is our users.php main class file to do or perform all the operations what we have made inside this playlist. Now here next we are going to make a method called public function. Let's say get all underscore projects. Now inside this we are going to write a query. So firstly let's make one line comment that is method which is used to list all projects. Now after that inside this block let's make our query first so this is project underscore query equal to let's say select all from and the table we have called this project tbl and we want that is something order by let's order by id and descending order means we want to list all the projects order by descending order so after making this query let's say project underscore obj this connection prepare and inside this prepare method and to pass this variable and finally as we know that inside this query there is no placeholder needed means nowhere condition is required so after all we are going to execute our query so let's say that project obj and for the execution we are going to execute method now finally we need to turn our result so let's say project obj and finally we are going to use call get underscore result so finally we have done about get all projects method we have prepared our query and finally executed that after execution we are returning our result here so if I save all these changes for this file now go inside v1 directory and let's create a file something called list hyphen all projects hyphen api dot php now inside this file firstly let's make a php tag and inside this php tag we are going to use called get request type so firstly let's include some header so it should be access control hello origin it should be all means star symbol again if i include call header and this should be something access control allow methods and this time we are going to use called get request type so here should be get method after all we are going to attach our files so for saving time if i go to the file called creates project api and inside this file here we have included that so copy that back to our file pasting it here and if I specify a single line comment something let's say including headers and here we are including files after that we have to make our objects so copy that pasting it here and finally we need to copy one line more something about checking our request type so pasting it here inside this we have now get request type now finally inside this if block we are going to call our method that we have made something called get all projects copy the method name 
let's say here projects equal to and by the help of this user object let's say user obj and all we have to call this method now if I print this projects method so copy that let's say that print underscore r to dump all the data first so if I save all these changes back to postman open a new tab before that if I copy the URL pasting it here and the file we have called list or projects API so get rid of that let's say list all projects hyphen API and the method type is get request type so if I click on send button now go inside this preview and I think that we have some error 500 internal server error so again back to our file and if I enable our debugger mode to check our error so let's say INI set it should be something display errors equal to 1 and save all these changes back to postman and again if I click send button and nothing is appearing it means that we have I think some syntax error so it should ok ok and this is actually we forgot to add here so save all these changes back to postman again click on send button now as we can see that we have now data and inside this if I go inside settings and increase some font size let's say it should be 20 save that and inside this as we have called num rows equal to 3 it means 3 records inside our table so back to our code editor and inside this block if I get rid of that and let's say if projects and it has an object called num rows if it is greater than 0 it means we are checking that we have any record inside our table or not let's say that if we have no record so http response code let's say 404, 404 it means no data found so if I make a custom message so echo json encode let's prepare an array inside this status equal to 0 and message something let's say no projects found so it is all about our else block now inside this if block it means that we have some data so after that let's say while loop means we are going to read all the data let's row row by row it means it is basically giving all the data from the table so we are reading step by step means row by row so row equal to let's say projects and also we are going to actually make the object into array it means it will return the object array of objects now row by row we are making each array inside the array format so here if I write let's say projects underscore array and it will be an array and inside this array we are going to store our data so let's say projects array equal to let's say firstly about id so id come inside row and as we have made about fetch associative so it will automatically convert about object into array format so here should be project name so let's say row here we have name next we want something description so description so copy this key and inside the table we have the key as description to check that back to table go to structure and inside here call name description status created at and the user id these are the columns so back to file let's say that in the next let's say user underscore id it should be row user underscore id and the last column we need to attach about created add so let's say created add 
it should be row and the column we have something if I copy the column name and pasting it here and I think that we have one more column about with the name status so it should be status and let's row and status column we have so if I save all these changes now finally we have read all the information and stored inside this projects array now finally we need to prepare a output format so let's say HTTP response code it should be 200 like for the OK status and let's say echo JSON in code and to pass an array inside that so let's say that status equal to 1 and finally let's say projects equal to project array because we have stored all the projects by going through while loop inside this array variable so if I save all these changes back to postman click on send button and I think that we have internal server error again back to code so firstly we need to find about syntax error because frequently we are doing about the syntax errors so here we have to pass semicolon now it is the second mistake of this file about syntax errors so save this file back to postman click on send button now inside this preview raw or let's say pt instead of html if we convert into json now this is all about our output here we have called status equal to 1 and this is all about our projects listing inside this projects array we have all the data inside this as in descending order like this is 3 this is 2 and finally at the last we have called 1 as we can see here so finally guys inside this video we have listed all the projects and stored inside this variable and we have prepared an API in the next video we will see that after passing a particular user ID it means we want all the projects from this list which has a user ID of let's say 6 as we know that from these three projects the user ID itself have two projects so we want to list all the projects using user ID respectively so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day